Hey folks, this is Bob coming at you from Fire Mountain Outdoors. Today we're going to take a look at this Remington 870. This is a law enforcement trade-in that I picked up at Surplus Ammo and Arms in Tacoma, Washington. It looks a little bit tired. We're going to rejuvenate it today with a new Magpul stock and a new Magpul forehead. Stick around for installation. First off the bat, the things that you're going to need for this project, you're going to need the Magpul SGA stock, that one's specific for the Remington 870, and you're also going to need the M-Lock forend, this also specific to the 870. Tools are pretty simple, you're going to need a flat bladed screwdriver, one with a little bit extra added length, so a standard length will work fine, and also a little Phillips screwdriver. All right, so let's take a look at what's inside the stock box. Well, we've got the Magpul stock. As you can see, I chose to go with FDE. Uh, still trying to think of what kind of theme to paint this rifle. It's gonna have a theme, maybe like a tiger stripe, or maybe just let Mark go hog wild on it and do some sort of battle worn, we'll see. Uh, it comes with uh, some additional spacers, it looks like here. That's going to be for length of pull, so you could remove this butt pad, install those in there if you want a longer pull on it. Uh, we've got, looks like a uh, wrench, some sort of spacer, and a screw, and looks like a rubber plug or grommet. I think that, yeah, that's going to cover the screw. If you've never done this before on an 870, it's actually pretty easy. Depending on what model you have, you know, the holes right here for your screws may look a little bit different. Some have plugs, some have a little bit larger hole. In this one, you really can't see down into it, but it does take a Phillips screwdriver. You just stick it into the hole. You feel around until you feel that screw and you start to unscrew it here. Right. Take a look in there. I think maybe it might be too dark to see, but there is a screw in there. I'm going to go ahead and Use the flat bladed screwdriver and we're just going to loosen that up. There, that's been released. That was the screw that we we're pulling out. There's the old stock. So here we have the stock removed from the action. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to take the stock, the Magpul stock. The screw needs to drop down in here. There's going to be a spacer that's included. It's going to snap on there. And we can feed that in there and get this screw started. It does come with the hex wrench, but given that there's so little clearance back here, there's not a whole lot of room to you know, get like a full length screwdriver. So it's gonna be a slow process to tighten this on here, but we'll speed it up for you. You wanna make note not to over tighten this. I think that feels right about good. It does come with the lock tight, you know, the thread locker on it. And so the last piece of that, we'll do this plug and the narrow end down. We're just gonna slide that into place and that will cover up the screw. There. Well, we got that part done. So now that we have the stock installed, we're going to move to the forend, and this is uh, the easy part. So again, this is the uh, the Magpul MOE 870, 
and we've got yes you guessed it an FDE foregrip and it comes with the castle nut wrench that's a very important and comes with instructions you're probably going to want to refer to these a little bit later when you're installing this handguard can go on both ways but it's only going to work in one direction so let's get going on that So we've got the 870 here, and this is really easy. All we have to do is remove this magazine cap, and to do that, we're just going to unthread it. That comes off, set that aside. And now we're gonna remove the barrel, just slide that forward. That comes off there that easy. So now we have the shotgun's magazine in the fore end here, and there's a castle nut right there. And that's where this tool is gonna to come in handy. You slide this over the magazine tube. You can see it's got a couple of uh, spots where it's raised right there. That will mate into the castle nut. And you just unscrew this. It's got a lot of threads, so it's gonna take a few to get it off there. Few turns yeah I think we've got it move that we're gonna need that we could just slide that handguard forward off of there so we've got the handguard off we've got the castle that is still in there and it's captured in there we've got to get that out because we're gonna need that for the install of the new handguard so you can just kind of take that and just kind of work it out. So that's out of there. We're done with that. Now we can install this new fore end onto the magazine tube. So looking at the handguard, you want to make sure that you have the stronger slant towards the rear. This is going to be the back side that goes towards the receiver, and this is the muzzle end. It can go on this way, but you'll find you'll have issues with racking it. I think aesthetically it looks better this direction, but this is the correct way that it goes on. So we're going to insert the magazine tube into the handguard. And right there, that's in place. We take our castle nut. Make sure that those ends are on the outside. Slide that over the magazine tube, down into place. And we've got the castle nut wrench again. That'll just go down over there like that. We'll engage the teeth and tighten it down. Uh, this is something that you just wanna go hand tight with. You don't wanna over tighten this. You could damage the threads. You could damage your new fore end. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get that snug and just give it a little extra push. And that's on there. So last, we've got the barrel. That's going to slide back in over the magazine tube. There is a notch in this barrel that's going to line up with a notch inside the shotgun here. So we're going to want to line those up. Like so. You can slide that back. And you can see that engaged right in there. Let's see if we can get a better view of that engaging in that surface right there. Good. So we have that. Now we can take the magazine cap, just install that back into place. That's all it takes. That's in there and nice and smooth. Yeah, yeah, that's what this old girl needed. This is a, this is a real nice upgrade. So we've got the Magpul foregrip there, FDE, 
got the new butt stock. I really, really do like the look of this. It took this old girl and made her modern again. It's got the Magpul M-Lock system on here so you can put all your gadgets and gizmos that you want on there. You know, I don't think these will ever see any use by me, but by all means, if you want to put your flashlight on there, you've got three different mounting surfaces to put that on there. So, very, very cool. You know, this is going to be an ongoing project. We're going to have some more videos. We're going to do an extended magazine on this. I want to pull that out there. Uh, maybe put some different sights on it. Just kind of upgrade it, make it a little bit more modern. You know, it feels really nice to the shoulder. I do, do, do like the way this turned out. So if you're looking to upgrade your Remington 870, please note that this will work on your, uh, on your police magnum. And uh, pay special close attention when installing this foregrip. If you're not looking at the instructions, it does look real easy to flip this around and install it the improper way. So we've got a win. It's a win-win, folks. Remington 870 Magpul MOE. Magpul original equipment. Good stuff. So hey, folks, you can't take back a bullet. You never, ever want to wish that you could. So make sure you always follow the four basic gun safety rules. Stay safe. Shoot straight. Like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the firing line. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.